Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now today I have here something very special. This is actually Huawei's latest flagship device that was launched in China, and this is called the Pura 80 Ultra. Now in terms of availability, I'm not sure whether this will come to Malaysia, but in terms of specifications, this is actually Huawei's most powerful smartphone to date. The device adopts a modern refined profile. You can see that from the rear panel. Now you can choose between a glass back or the vegan leather back. The display is actually one of the best that I have seen to date. It features a 6.7 inch LTPO old panel with near bezel-less design. Huawei's own Kirin 8010 chipset is powering this device. Now this chipset is actually built on a 3 nanometers process. And I must say that the overall performance is very strong. Now this is actually where Huawei really shines when it comes to their smartphones. And this time round you have a triple lens system. You have a massive 5200 mAh battery that is housed inside a lightweight silicon carbon internal frame. The idea is to distribute the energy efficiently and effectively. And this is where you get very fast charging speeds. You can charge this device all the way from 0 to 100% in less than 30 minutes. That's how fast this device charges. Other than that, we also have 50 watts of wireless charging and 20 watts of reverse wireless charging, which means you can actually charge other devices like your earbuds or even your smartwatch on the back of this device. Now, Huawei also has their own proprietary dual cell design, which basically reduces heat during charging. And that's managed together with Huawei's smart thermal management system. So battery life is definitely not an issue here. The first lens is the main 108 megapixel ultravision lens with optical image stabilization. Now, in terms of global availability, I'm not sure whether it will be released in Malaysia, but if you are keen to find out more, you can check out the links below. Now, in terms of price, this is a very high-end flagship device. It's not cheap. It goes upwards of 10,000 ringgit. But again, this is where you get the best of the best from what, what this means is that it's able to capture a ton of details in every single shot. Don't forget to drop a like if you want to see more content like this. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. Just look at this picture. Everything looks so clear. I can even zoom into this picture and see exactly what's going on inside. Other than that, it's also able to shoot very low light images, and it looks very natural. The second lens is the 50 megapixel ultra wide lens. And this is also an autofocus lens. It also has PDAF, which is phase detection. Autofocus. This means that when you pull things closer to take pictures, you are still able to get very clear images. And lastly, we have the 12 megapixel periscope. Lens with 5 times optical zoom and OIS. So again, that means you can zoom in really far and still get very clear pictures. The lenses are actually backed by Huawei SXD, Fusion Pro multi-frame technology, which basically uses multiple pictures to combine together to give you that beautiful color accurate and detailed shots. It has an octa-core CPU that hits up to 3.2 gigahertz. And it is all about bringing you that very high performance while being very energy efficient. And that is where you have things like the 50 megapixel ultra wide lens, which produces very good images. You also have the 12 megapixel periscope telephoto lens, which gives you that 5x optical zoom. And at the same time, you have the main 18 megapixel ultra vision lens. Now, other than that, we also have the custom Molly M75 GPU, which pushes graphics to the next level in terms of gaming. So what you can expect here is high frame rates and a very smooth game. The device also supports LPDDR5X RAM, which is up to 16 gigabytes in UFS 4.0 storage, which is up to one terabyte. So I guess in terms of load times and multitasking, you will be able to expect that to be very snappy. In terms of benchmark results, you can see that the Pura 80 Ultra ranks among the top Android tier performers in AI, gaming, and multitasking. And last but not least, the processor also includes a dedicated neural processing unit, which is the NPU that accelerates features such as image recognition, speech support, and AI computational enhancements. And this display actually provides a ton of features, starting with the refresh rate, which goes all the way from 1 Hz all the way to 120 Hz. We also have other types of connections, such as Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, UWB, NFC, and an infrared sensor which you can actually use to control other smart appliances. With such great connectivity, I think it's actually very easy to share content with your family and friends. What this means is that it is able to switch dynamically depending on whatever you are doing on the screen. So for example, if you are looking at static content such as reading your messages, the display can actually drop down to 1Hz to conserve battery. 
but when you start watching videos or playing games, the display will ramp up to 120 Hz to give you the smoothest animations possible. Other than that, we also have a Quad HD Plus resolution which is roughly 3200 by 1440 pixels. The clarity is absolutely fantastic. And you can watch Netflix shows or YouTube videos and everything looks very clear, very sharp and realistic. The colors look awesome too. And this display hits a peak brightness of 2600 nits. Which means, even if you are outdoors and under direct sunlight, you are still able to view everything clearly on the screen. So yeah, that's what you can expect in terms of the display. We also have other features such as full DCI-P3 coverage, 10-bit color depth and hardware level calibration to give you the best cinematic image for depth. There's also Gorilla Glass Victus 3 for scratch protection. And obviously, with such a great display, you definitely want to protect it. So I think that's just a very good thing to have. Other than that, the display also supports HDR10 Plus certification. And last but not least, we have features such as smooth touch sampling, which goes up to 480 Hz. That means everything is super responsive and smooth. And there's also an under display fingerprint sensor, which is very, very fast. I think Huawei has done a very good job in terms of their displays. They always put in the best panels that they can find in the market, and this is no exception. I think this display is definitely one of the best that you can get right now. I have here the black vegan leather which looks really good. But if you do like that sort of classy look, you can check out the white one that reflects light in certain angles. But in terms of the camera island, it doesn't stick out a lot and it is directly connected to the metal frame which looks really nice. The metal frame itself is actually made of aerospace grade aluminum. It comes with an antimicrobial CNC finish so you do you want to have to worry about fingerprints and smudges on the sides. And I also noticed that the edges are very chamfered, so it slides in and out of my pockets very, very nicely. Even though this is a huge phone, just looking at the curved glass display that goes very well with the frame itself, it gives it a seamless kind of look that doesn't look bulky at all. So you can see that attention to detail has been paid to each and every part of the device. Not only does it look good, it's also very durable because it is IP68 dust and water resistant, so you don't have to worry about bringing this around. So let's talk a bit more about this device right here. Since this is a pretty big device, it measures about 7.9 millimeters thin and it weighs roughly 190 grams. That means holding it in hand is fairly comfortable. And I find myself using this device for very long periods of time without any problems. Now before we go on, let me just say that Huawei has taken meticulous care in crafting the Pura 80 Ultra S external and internal looks. Moving on, let's talk a bit about how this feels like in hand. All right. Now, since we have talked about the design, let's move on to the next point, which is actually the display. And this is where things get even better. All right, now moving on. Let's talk a little bit about the performance, because this is actually where things get even better. Now, I mentioned earlier on that the device has 5G capability. So in terms of connectivity, you can expect very fast speeds. All right, now moving on. Let's talk a bit about the cameras at the back. All right. Now, last but not least, let's talk a little bit about the battery. Now, this is actually where things get even better. So there you have it. That's the Huawei Pure IT Ultra, a very, very powerful device that is coming out of China. With that said, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end.